Oh well. Peanut Park sucks anyways. Episode 4, The Wilted Flowers. Uh, I might end the session soon, but I'm not sure when. Yeah, so it's this episode that we have to do in order to do much more greater things in this game. And of course this is one of those uh, episodes where we can't go inside Peanut Park. I didn't think Yoshis were bad creatures, that's for sure. Well, you know what? I didn't think so either. Poor sunflowers. That egg just hatched on the beach. And apparently, well, that egg was pretty much resting by this egg. Instead, we... This flower revives, which makes no sense. You know what, I'm gonna have to watch a Let's Play and see how someone was able to get 100 coins for this course. Seriously, that egg was not sitting right beside that flower. Makes no sense. And there's no egg by that flower at the corner over there. What are these flowers even saying anyway? Whoa, my start of it! Something like that, I don't know. And we have to save the adult last. Because of these fake eggs, the Yoshis of this island have fled. Yeah. I don't know what to commentate, really. Thanks for helping me. Now maybe the Yoshis will come back too. So, you guys got a hint on why we need to complete this this episode? And I'm talking to those who haven't played this game. Obviously. That's right. A Yoshi egg and shot of Mario. And a pineapple in a pipe. Pineapple in a pipe. Pineapple in a pipe. Pineapple in a pipe. Okay, that's not a ton twister. I can't imagine what the... Yes, we know what you say. Alert. The mysterious mustached man has been seen running around town holding an egg-like object. The mustache man is also the primary suspect in the recent kidnapping of Princess Peach of the Mushroom Kingdom. Where'd you go? Yeah, where'd you go? Oh my 
god, you serious? Oh, there you are. Oh my god, just spray him. Every little bit of water counts. Darn! And I was just about to ride that Yoshi too. Bananas. So we have to go get Yoshi some bananas. So in order to get a Yoshi out of the egg, we need to give it a certain kind of fruit by its request. And apparently bananas are heavy for Mario. And bananas can grow this big. You befriended Yoshi. Yeah, so Yoshi will help us a lot during this game. So we can make him spray juice. Oh, and best of all, instead of spraying birds, we just eat the birds and we get the coin. So this will help us with the blue birds we need to eat. And what do we need Yoshi for, you ask? Well, one of the things we need him for is for these fire things. Yeah, not yeah, flood can't even get rid of those things. So, we have to use Yoshi. Uh, trying to think of where to go. All right, there's a level up there, but I'm I'm going to go to that later. And in order to keep Yoshi active, once our juice runs out, then Yoshi dies on us. So we have to keep him active by food. And Yoshi only turns three different colors in this game. Pink, purple, and uh, what was the other color? Orange. Pink, purple, color. yeah, pink, purple, orange. He doesn't turn green in this game, apparently. Oh my god, are you serious? Oh, and also if he lands in a body of water, then Yoshi dies off. So that's kind of stupid. Ugh, jeez, I'm trying to get that blue bird. This is really starting to peel me off. Oh man, the blue coins are just right there. Hopefully blue coins don't disappear. Oh my god. Okay, this game seriously finds ways to piss me off, doesn't it? Oh, that was amazing. I'm not sure how long we can abandon Yoshi. I'm not sure if he disappears after a while. Or no, that was on the galaxy too. Where are you? Oh shoot, we need a fruit ASAP. go. Now I have to figure out how to get to the other side without drowning. I 
Oh my god, get in the pipe. Serena Beach. The Manta Storm. Yeah, out of all the courses, I must say, this one definitely gives you a harsh start because this boss can be such a pain. I don't know why, but this is a safe place when the goop fell. Yeah, so if you're undercover, then you don't get attacked by the goop, apparently. Okay, I'm gonna free some people because they give me blue points. Thanks, Mario, you saved me. I knew I said I wasn't going to worry about the blue coins, but I'm getting them anyways. Just because I want to see how far I can go. And as for the 100 coin situation in Peanut Park, um, I'm probably going to like watch a Let's Play or something and figure out how one can get 100 coins. Because I'm trying to make go through these levels as quick as possible, so that way this Let's Play doesn't end up into like 40 parts or something like that. Because uh, my Super Mario 64 Let's Play pretty much ended uh, on the 26th part. And as of now when you're watching this, my uh, Super Mario 64 Let's Play should be done. And I'm not sure what my progress would be on the Sonic Adventure DX. Obviously done Sonic and going through Tails or finishing Tails. Or already have finished Tails. Yeah, with the co-commentator situation, I'm not sure what the problem is with that. But of course, by the time I upload this part, that's going to be like old news. Oh, please tell me my nightmare is over. You can save me. I don't know why, but you just look very compa compatible to me. Listen, it all started at around noon. This giant manta-shaped thing showed up. It was this paper-thin floating so, silhouette. Silhouette. What is that word? I don't know. It came and covered the hotel grounds in this electric goop. Then, all the horror, my beautiful hotel, my poor building, it sank in the middle and that awful ooze, why me, why? Now I got the staff cleaning up, but where's my hotel? What am I supposed to do? I can't just stand, just sit back and, ah, it's back! The guy, the, the gro gosomer gall, do something. Yeah, I'm having a problem right here. Now this boss is considered one of the most hardest bosses in the game. I do disagree, but this boss is definitely not a fun boss. Okay, it's a fun boss, but still, it gets annoying. And now all the people are gone either underground or somewhere else. 